Good afternoon, y'all. It's Robert Davis back here with you. And uh, we're going to do some um, Delphi development with fast reports and show you conditional highlighting and um, total sums in the report. So let's go over here to Delphi. Open this project. And here we go. This is a simple uh, client database, customer database, and they're what they've ordered. We'll run it and show you. And here we go. Got the customer record and then their order records. Hey, on this one, anybody know what a pig nose amplifier is? They're really cool. And Gugon, that's, um, gets latex paint off of things. <clears throat> and my best friend, he likes fast vehicles and motorcycles. And that's it. Now let's look at the report and what we've come up with and then we'll get into the report building. Here you go. It's in the last middle first name order. Uh, no, last first name middle name order. So they're all in order by full name. And then we got their name and then the parts that they've ordered and the conditional highlighting that we're using is if it's uh, less than $50 it's uh, red if it's equal to or greater than $50 it's green and then if the total is $300 or greater it's this kind of funky blue. Can't really see it on the monitor, I guess, too well, but it, uh, it'll print nice. And then we'll close this and show you how we accomplish that stuff. Whoops. Close this. Go to the data module and you see we're just using client data sets with the uh, XML as a storage and the relationship set between master and detail. So let's go to the report and look see. Here we go. Okay and this is how we concatenate the name we're just taking um, FRXDB data set one last name, first name, middle name, and concatenating that this way. Give you a second to wrap your head around that. And then um, here in the detail band, we uh, look for the DB data set two part and then the DB data set to amount. Now here's where we get into conditional highlighting. We just have to put the field name there, that's all. And then um, I guess you can mess with format here, number and dollars and cents. The highlighting is where we really want to look, and this is uh, this is the first rule. If the value of amount is less than fifty, um, make it red. Let's see, and just just to change that, we'll do this. Um, we'll make it maroon. 
just so you can see the change there's maroon and then the other rule that we're imposing on the amount field is if value is greater than or equal to 50 it's this um, purplish color so that's how you do that you can add a new rule this way uh, value equals zero we don't need that done so uh, there you go and then let's preview that to see the change in the color here we go there's that purplish color and it's green if it's 300 or more uh, what I say no it's green if it's 50 or 50 or more I'm sorry and then um, if it's 300 or more in the client total uh, it's this blue green color and then the total we haven't Im impl imposed any conditional highlighting on it it's just simply black oh I think I could move that over but then let's look at uh, our sums how we do that you need a group header on a detail band and that's where you can put your labels and this is simply just a, a simple label and we set the we set the color and those kind of things here let's try this and, and just to preview what that does so if you want to just stand out a little more um, let's set that let's set that back to the gray that's gray here and uh, in the detail band oh, I already discussed that so we go down here to the group footer and it's just a simple label right there text object and then here's the what we're doing we're summing frxdb data set to amount getting a total from that and then in the report summary you can take that and use the uh, two comma sum function and you put in here in the report summary frxdb data set to dot amount and we're concerned with the detailed data one band and then three is a combination of one and two and off the top of my head I uh, don't recall exactly what those are but that'll work for you every time so it's the field the band and then the third parameter of one two or three and that's okay and that's how we come up with this and I've used a calculator and summed everything and it's all correct so uh, there you go with conditional highlighting um, text label formatting uh, the master band the detail band the group header band the group footer band and the report summary now let's look at this uh, expression one more time we take the sum of frxdb data set to amount from 
with the detailed data one band. I'm sorry, the detailed data one band. Yeah, that's right. And um, just use number three, which is a combination of one and two. So uh, we'll come up with that. So we close that. Run the application. Show the report again. And that's what we come up with. So, uh, this has been in big demand, so I thought I'd address it for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Um, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notified when I post a new tutorial. But again, my name's Robert Davis. I've enjoyed being with you. I hope you've gotten something out of this that you can use. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.